right, got a new shipment of parts in the mail today. One I went and picked up and I built a couple years ago and forgot even existed. Guy wasn't using it anymore, so I bought it back from him. I'm gonna try to reuse it as something, who knows what. These are a bunch of Chinese motherboards that I have never tried before, but they're actually brand new. And they're for those CPUs that were made in like 2009 that I happen to have 24 of. <laughs> A 23, I've already used one. So I ordered a bunch of these boards. We're gonna see how they work out. These boxes right here are coolers for them. And here are four power supplies that came in, EVGA 500 watts. We've got, uh, I think, seven more on the way at the moment. And three graphics cards come in today, uh, 1050 Ti. I think the middle one is a 750, and I think that one is a 760 to uh, double check when I get them out. Now for this potato computer here, I'm probably gonna throw one of these HD 7570s in just to try to make something out of it, get some money back out of it. I also got another one of these bare bones units that doesn't have a processor, or RAM, hard drive, all that stuff in it. These are the money makers right there. I've got like five of them sitting outside right now that are finished. Here are some internal Wi-Fi cards. I think there's like 10 of them right there. Underneath there I've got, on the bottom there, I've got three cases sitting there waiting. So basically I should have enough to make three computers tonight. And then I can get onto the rest whenever the other cases come in the mail. I think what I'll do is I'll take you guys along on the cleaning process while I go through these graphics cards. Uh, they don't look too dirty, but I'll just go ahead and clean them up and give them a little TLC in the meantime. I do find it kind of laughable how thin this motherboard is. It is not wide at all. Of course, we have security efficient, safety protection, high efficiency, strong compatibility, eSports helper. That one's very important. Nice mechanist board with security and efficient. Quality assurance, test qualified, authentic guarantee. Now, for those of you who don't know, this is literally a brand new board manufactured in China for these old processors. Since everything is made in China, there are tons and tons of extra components that are like motherboard components, little tiny like capacitors and PCIe slots and things like that that just sit around where they've got extras from other boards. So what this is, this Frankenstein of a thing, is they've taken a BIOS chip off of uh, an X58 board from somewhere, put it underneath there, and they've constructed a full motherboard around it using all those excess components. And so now I have what's sort of a, well, mostly, almost 100%, a brand new board for uh, an X58 CPU. Strange, interesting, narrow. It's a tiny little thing. I also find it kind of funny that they don't even come with a CMOS battery. Like, don't get me wrong, CMOS batteries don't cost hardly anything. I've got five packs for like two bucks or something like that. I'm gonna have to go through and order CMOS batteries for all of these motherboards that I'm getting in. I've got a couple sitting around now. I've got enough to finish up all these. It's just they're nice to have as spares rather than, I don't know, required parts for a motherboard. It's just odd. But I'm about to boot it up anyways and uh, just see if this motherboard works because I ordered a bunch of them just in case. It is the cheapest way to get an X58 board and especially one that's not about to die anytime soon. I almost forgot the um, one of the most important parts about this board. It supposedly takes registered ECC RAM, which I ordered a bunch of at one point on accident because it's like half the price of regular RAM. And uh, this is said it supports it. We're about to boot it and find out.
out the CMOS battery. Most crucial component. Tell you what the most crucial component is it's a display of some sort. I said something about four systems earlier. <laughs> I've done three of the Chinese motherboards so far and uh, realized that I don't actually have a fourth CPU cooler yet. It's still coming in the mail. So it would have been sitting right here. I guess I can move on to cleaning up some graphics cards. Alright, what we've got here on the table is a nice dusty 1050 Ti as well as a 750 Ti. Looks like it could use a little bit of love as well. Look at that. And a 760, four gigabyte. Interesting, the owner actually sold this to me as a, as a two gigabyte card. I had to double check his listing because um, it said two gigabyte. But I noticed when I was looking at the pictures, that right there is a part number for a four gigabyte version. I asked him if he was actually selling the ones that were in the pictures, just to double check. And uh, yeah, he said that was the one. <laughs> he wondered why, and uh, yeah, sold it to me just like this. So uh, we're going to take these three apart, we're going to clean them up. Hopefully that 760 doesn't have 5 million screws, I haven't actually looked yet. Oh, let's see what we're in for. That's not too bad. Hopefully it doesn't have a million thermal pads as well. Gonna have to place. Just notice it looks like it used to have uh, SLI fingers or something right there and somebody just broke it off. And uh, yeah, the fan header is stuck. I have to work some, some plier magic here to get it off without pulling the pins out. Yes, pliers did the trick without it breaking because I was just trying really hard originally tugging on it and uh, starting to separate from the board a little bit so that's not good. I'll get this off now, and this is literally just a chunk of metal with some plastic and a wire on it. So this is getting the hose for sure. This on the other hand is going to get alcohol. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to put alcohol on a paper towel. I'm going to clean all that off for sure. Take some air duster to it first, kind of sweep a little before I mop, if you will. And then on the, I guess I don't really need to dust on the back. Definitely on the front. Instant. Instant work. Excellent. Surf on.
It really is as simple as it sounds. Since the um, since all we've got left here is basically just some plastic and I don't know, I see some dust left in there. I know it's basically just plastic and a big chunk of metal right there on the back, and then this one wire. So as far as conductivity goes, it's totally fine. It's not going to short out or anything just because I've put it under some water. Because it doesn't actually hold any electricity when it's not turned on, it's perfectly safe to run it under some water. You just want to make sure that it's completely dry before you go ahead and pop it in the system and turn it on again. So I am actually going to wait 24 hours-ish before powering this on in a system anywhere. step in the process is going to be repasting this and the only difference between this and pasting a CPU is this is the actual die of the graphics card the GPU instead of an integrated heat spreader like you've got on a processor so you do actually want to make sure it is hundred percent covered which that might be a little too much and then the card back together just bolt it on the same way it came off and then I'm done with that move on to the next card we're left with a pretty good looking graphics card after all that cleaning and I actually thought it looked pretty terrible when I started oh no I got thermal paste on the side it's okay paper towel can fix that some cards with a little bit more complex cooler design you can uh, after you tile dry them take the hair dryer to them just to kind of get some of the water out that you really can't reach you can't knock out of the card by banging it up against the towel this will kind of speed up the process as well I also want to point out now that I've got the card taken apart, these right here are the VRAM chips, and uh, there are eight of them, which probably confirms that I was thinking this is a four gig card, because these usually come in five me 500 megabyte increments, not always. Of course, the uh, older cards and lower VRAM cards will only have uh, 256 megabyte chips. But I was already suspecting that this is a 4 gig card. If these are 500 meg chips. That totally confirms that. Now I did forget to mention that some of these cards are going to have thermal pads on them. Uh, these were here, 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 and here. This would have been one of them right there. And uh, just for the interest of having fresh everything on this card, I've taken all the pads off. A lot of times the thermal pads will actually tear when you take them off, so you make sure, want to make sure you have spares. I do, uh, I do have a bunch of spare thermal pad material here. They come in different thicknesses, so you're definitely going to want to make sure that you get multiple different thicknesses. Because, say, this thermal pad right here is like twice the thickness of this thermal pad here. And so what I like to do, if I haven't actually killed the original thing yet, Take it, I'll line it up just like so on here. Line it up. Then I will take the scissors and cut it out. There we have our fresh piece of thermal pad material. You can get this stuff on eBay for like two bucks a square, three bucks a square, something like that. I guess it depends on thickness. And all we do, if I don't get stuck to the table. All we do is put it in place exactly where it goes, 
And then whenever you put this back on, these will just squish back down onto the RAM chips. They are sticky by default, so you don't have to worry about them like falling off when you actually put this on the graphics card. Beautiful new looking Windforce card. Cannot complain about that clean job, that's for sure. It's getting pretty late and this video is getting pretty long, so I'm gonna go ahead and call it here. Thanks for watching. Still got a lot more to do, so if you want to see more of this, there's gonna be more coming in the future. I've still got to put together those uh, systems with the mechanist boards in them. And I'm also gonna be putting together that potato PC that I bought back from a friend. So if you want to see any of that, come back next time you see an upload. I'm gonna be working on a lot of videos like this one. Thanks.